Hi guys, thank you for joining me. Here's an update what's going on there at Yellowstone Super Volcano. After that magnitude 4.1 earthquake they had there in uh, Montana. Level intensity of 4. Uh, 14 people reportedly felt this earthquake. It was reportedly felt as far as Billings, Montana. There we got the uh, uh, Yellowstone River it looks like. Let's see. The light blue line drawn out and there's a small circle over here is the area the areas where it was reportedly felt. Here we got Miles City, Montana. I don't know if they've updated this map. Originally they said there was only eight people that reportedly felt this earthquake. Here we got one from Roundup. Um, muscle shell, one there. Uh, one response from Custer. Closer to Billings, we got one and three. Yeah, they have not updated this map of the felt reports. They do not have a rupture distance for the fault line for this earthquake. So using Google Earth, Here's the location of that earthquake. I'll bring it out. Here we got Billings down here. This is the uh, Yellowstone Caldera. Drawn out in red is uplift that I mapped out from about 15 years ago. What you got going on here is when the continents collided. Um, the lithosphere was damaged all the way up through this area, all the way up to Helena, Montana. So using Google Earth, we'll go to that location. Yeah, the lithosphere here is just, yeah. So because of the convergence of the tectonic plate, yep, this is one of the areas that a lot of stress has built up. And thus you have earthquakes. It's called brittle breaking of the lithosphere. Here we have an image of the North American Craton, and you can see the edge of this boundary which goes up and around. Here's another example of the Earth and its different layers. We got the lithosphere. Um, you know, it's the crust and the uppermost part of our mantle. See that? And to think that um, these earthquakes that occur in this location are a result of built up stress. Stress, excuse me, pressure. That's very significant when you have earthquakes. These um, brittle lithospheric earthquakes, especially in this location. Using IRIS program, the swarm program, here's that earthquake as it came in at the borehole for Yellowstone Lake. Let's look at its signature right there. In the center is Mary Lake. Um, that's not far from Yellowstone Lake itself. Its location is here in the center. Down over here to the bottom is Little West Thumb. And then this is Yellowstone Lake itself. Right there is Mary Lake. And we'll look at its signature. And then on the right is Holmes Hill, which is by Hedgen Lake. And there's its signature. And of course, like always, there were several earthquakes before this that USGS didn't report. Uh, there was one at 3.45 and uh, 30 seconds universal time. This is the spectrogram there at Yellowstone Lake, Mary Lake, and then Holmes Hill. And there's its signature as it came in. Um, Yellowstone Lake, Mary Lake. And Holmes Hill. Yeah, Holmes Hill has been showing a lot of um, not good activity. You can see that the monitors totally screwed up. It looks like this here on the left for Yellowstone Lake. That one is marked in red. So they know it did occur. And we have harmonic tremors. Yeah. And as you know, those that follow me, harmonic tremors, you can Google it often occur either before or during or after a volcanic eruption. This earthquake here was probably somewhere in the magnitude of 1.82. I'll cover the ones just in red to begin with. 
and again this comes from Yellowstone Lake where a lot of activity volcanic activity the harmonic tremors the volcanic earthquakes have been occurring where they have that crack down at the bottom of the lake where dike intrusion is trying to come up okay this one here is also marked in red not being reported uh, 1333 and oh 35 seconds okay then we got another one where is that one at 1409 I might be able to easily get the magnitude of that one that one is a magnitude 1.50 now when I pulled the files a little while ago it looks like we have volcanic tremors going on and yeah yeah it's been pretty steady let me close this out for you I got some data here I don't know why it wasn't pulling the data very well um, let's make this bigger yeah harmonic tremors there and we'll pull this here more harmonic tremors all right we got another small earthquake right here uh, 724 now that's universal time and this is all today that looks to be around a magnitude 2.0 yeah we got a little shaker afterwards yeah this one shook for a while see how it just kind of reverberated for a little bit uh, 1113 oh 41 42 seconds maybe that one was a magnitude 2.0 two one what so they were all freaked out worried about what would to do what would happen when they started having magnitude two or greater earthquakes and so now they just simply don't report them the only one for Mary Lake marked in red would be the earthquake the uh, 4.1 that occurred up there in Montana all right so we got a small one here at 533 and 40 seconds a magnitude oh 1.87 you can see it there at the bottom we've got another small one there right there at 724 uh, another small one right there at 1048 let's see another small one at 1132 another small one at 11 35 another small one at 1416 um, 1513 that one's a little bit larger isn't it did I do that one at Yellowstone like anyways it comes in here at this site as a 2.16 again another two pointer that they're not reporting and we got another small one here at 1532 and that comes in as a two point zero one we got another little one here oh yeah look at that yeah drum beats boom 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 and let's take a look at it looks like volcanic yeah volcanic tremors okay and then this is what it was showing when I pulled the files yeah it looks like I'm yeah it looks like volcanic well maybe a mixture of volcanic and harmonic tremors all right here at Holmes Hill we have a lot marked in red yeah look at that one mm, that's an interesting signature yeah a real sharp pop look at that that comes in as a 1.08 and then we got let's see where is this one at I don't know okay right there 251 that comes in as a 1.50 and we got another one where is that one at right there okay 252 that comes in as a 1.86 that was a bunch of them up over here but I can't really tell yeah a lot of little ones see how it's all in red up here maybe I'll just try and pull it over let's see if I can know oh, if I'm on the right line it's hard to tell no I'm not gonna try all right did I do that one 503 I think so 
533, I think I already did that one. 540, there's two small ones there. Uh, 544, let's take a look at the, oh, now that's interesting. I want to explain this to you. See how most of the activity is at the top? It could be a rock slide of some sort, but it came from the surface. Let's go back and take a look at these. Okay. That one's not too bad. And yeah, see it came from the surface. Could be a rock slide. Um, maybe they're doing some construction, road construction. Yeah, it's hard to tell. But yeah, this is all surface events. Okay. That is causing these earthquakes. Let's come down here. Let's see if I can find them. Okay, go back to the signature. Yeah, that might explain why we got the sharp pop. And then afterwards, they might be doing some road construction over there. Same with that one. And yeah, they're probably the same with that one. Yeah. All right, so afterwards, we got a, let's see, I'll find that one. Where's it at? Yeah, I bet there's road construction going on over there. All right, let me find this stuff. Where is this at? I don't know. Hard to find it when the lines are all messed up. Yeah, see, that's from above. Okay, and that's from above. All right, got another one. These lines are so messed up. I don't know. And we'll come down. All right, yeah, let's take a look at this. Oops, all right, I want to take a look at the signature. Let me close that. Try it again. Yeah. Maybe they're doing road construction because of all the activity that's going on over there at Hedge and Lake. Now that's on the outside of the Caldera Rim. And I've talked about that before. They can take a larger earthquake over there um, without anything happening, you know, a volcanic eruption. That's harmonic tremors. That is harmonic tremors that it was showing when I pulled the files. Okay, well, it's like that because it's larger. Okay, let's go there. All right, so this is the tilt meter for Yellowstone Lake. This comes from the borehole 208. X is the top one north. They're measuring Y is east. And this is the last seven days. Remember, each dot, which makes this big blob, is an earthquake that affected the uh, tilt meter. And the magma here at Yellowstone Lake is flowing under the ground. Um towards the east and that's the last seven days so uplift for the last 30 days and we'll come down and it's yeah you can see that there all right so then we got grant which is on the uh and it stopped working has not been working since uh the second grant is over there by um little west thumb you can see where it took a breath and yeah more dots me more activity yeah it makes you wonder why it's not working did they shut it down look how this it's just spreading out and i've talked about how for about oh three years maybe been having a lot of earthquakes over there i think the magma look at that the magma wants to come up you know magma naturally wants to rise kind of like a beach ball being held underneath the water of a pool you can't just hold it down it's you always have that pressure where it wants to come up yeah look at that okay yeah okay, and then we got the last 30 days all right borehole 9504 norris geyser basin again this comes from a very deep well under the ground and the magma here is flowing under the ground towards the north talked about how it's spreading out thinning out well you can see that how it's spreading out here this is uh, the last uh, week and then the last 30 days yeah see how it was going down and now it's coming up again yeah flowing north 
another monitor for the Norris Geyser Basin, borehole 205. Top is north, bottom is east. There's where it took that breath. And yeah, see how it's spreading out the last week? And then the last 30 days. Yeah, I really wish they had Grant working. And a current view from looking towards the back basin there. Yeah, great camera. I'm being sarcastic here. Just horrible. So that's all I have for you right now about that earthquake and why it happened. All caused because of stress and tension being built up. Any thoughts or comments or questions, please put it down below. Thank you for watching. Um, yeah, we got the car fixed. Um, yeah, wheel bearings. <laughs> yeah, not good. Um, anyways, um, the guy there at the shop evidently um, pushed all the other cars out or whatever he had lined up ahead of time and took um, my daughter's car, who were traveling in her SUV, took that went in right away and got it fixed and um, they're now going to um, a part of Disney World which would be what they call Universal Studios there at Disney World but they're only open until 8 o'clock but I want to really thank the guy for getting us or her in and out right away and didn't have you know she was all freaked out wondering if it was going to be like two weeks until she got the car fixed which probably would be in other states especially like where we came from but he got her in and out the same day which was wonderful um yeah seven hundred dollars for wheel bearings i myself and that's for the two front i assume both of them um that being the case i think that's very reasonable he even gave him a chair so they could sit down and watch him uh, work and he explained the work and um, yeah so that was just great she took one picture I think I'll be posting that later if she sends it to me so I can post it yeah I gotta give um uh, the people here are so nice here in Florida you know it, I've lived in a lot of different states um, but this one has been the nicest maybe because we're um, kissing me Florida, which really depends on uh, Disney World. Um, the man said that when Disney World shuts down, the whole town shuts down. They really depend a lot on um, the tourism that Disney World brings into uh, Kissimmee, Florida here, which is actually, I guess, part of Orlando. I, I don't know. Anyways, I'm rattling. So if you have any thoughts or questions about this earthquake, yeah, not good stress building up along there that lithosphere um please put it down below thank you for watching thank you for subscribing thank you for your support please stay safe and i'll talk to you later god bless you bye